I'm Terry Oracle. This is a reading for SLS. I wants to know. I have a third party relationship with a good friend across the country. I've been married for a long time and thinking of walking away, and my husband knows this. The other man is a longtime friend of ours. I have made, I need to make a choice, but I'm not sure if I can trust the dude that's far away. I have such strong feelings. I really want to know. I'm graduating college soon. And the other guy and I have a meeting in May. I'm really wondering if I should stay or should I go. I'm trying to find out more about the long distance guy's intentions. So, okay. So married, um, somebody on the side, the person on the side is a long way away. They want to know about the long way away person's intentions. All right. So we have some cards drawn here. We'll draw an Oracle card. Let's see what we got. We'll go with this one, whatever that one is. So what did we get? We got wishing well. Hmm. Wishing well is quite interesting. Um, this is more about unrealistic wishes than realistic wishes. So being upside down sort of gives a, uh, uh, you know, wishing on something that may not be quite as realistic as we thought it could be. So let's go through the cards as well. So the first card we have is the devil. You want to know about someone's intentions. And the first card we have is the devil. And that, that's interesting. And we have justice upside down. Strength at the end. And then we have the high priestess. So as per the video on astrology and tarot. Oh, the two of pentacles as well. Juggling, uh, not juggling well. So there's a interesting. Uh, basically, it looks like that... Um, Looks like the long term, uh, sorry, the long distance relationship may not work out as well as you had considered it might uh, in the long term. It looks like long term, it doesn't look like it's going to work out well. So, again, wishing well, uh, upside down, it's not too good. The devil, um, master of the obvious, is just that. Let's not talk about that. So, the two of pentacles. Now, this is the juggling card. We have a bit of, of things that we need to be juggling and a bit of, of decision making. We have two possible decisions. We have a juggling aspect between two possible paths. And this is juggling maybe not done well, maybe not done as, as good as it could be due to its upside down. Because in the actual card, this is an interesting card because we do have this juggling act. Not only that, but he's staying on one foot. So you kind of wonder, is he off balance? This is the rhetorical question that's forever been on every tarot reader's mind. Is, is he off balance or is he not off balance? Is he doing this for entertainment to make it more difficult for himself because he's such a master of juggling or is it not? And this one is around time. We have this two clocks and he's juggling time. So it seems like this being upside down, splitting time between one effort and another effort is possibly done quite well in this instance. However, it being upside down means the time invested or the time that's spent on this may not be the best choice. So again, we have the, the eternal question of is he a master of juggling or if he's doing it poorly or whatever. And I'll leave you to decide that. But either way, he's not juggling it very well. So this being upside down means the time invested or the time that's used in the juggling is not invested well. And again, we have another clock here, again, with the devil, sort of this miserable type. Looks like nobody is happy with this relationship at the dinner table. Dinner table is a mess. We have broken dishes and it's all based on time. So it looks like there's a lot of time going into this, much more than that you probably indicated in your in your question but it looks like there's a lot of time being invested here and that time is not is not going well the time invested is not going well between the the split between the two so again we have this bad relationship clock striking what looks like i guess six and it just doesn't look like that the time invested here the time invested here is going well for you so the High Priestess is a very emotionally charged issue. It's big on emotions. There's a lot of emotions going back and forth. And you can sort of see this distance when you look at the the window and things like that. You see this distance that's that can't be crossed, this distance that um, 
that is a, a huge barrier that you have here between, you know, the, the feelings that you have at home and the feelings that you have for this other person. So um, just as being upside down pretty much means that this is not going to work out the way you think it's going to work out. It's just, it seems that justice is balanced. Justice is, you know, the Libra aspect. It's, it's everything that goes well and goes right and, and everything is the way it should be and things like that. And the being upside down means that it's not going to go the path that you think it is. And then strength is the last card, meaning, um, meaning sort of, um, sort of holding on to what gives you strength type thing. So the, this is a, this is an important card here because um, you're sort of holding on to this relationship that you're not happy with, but it gives you security. And at the same time, you're thrown off balance by this entire thing. There's not a lot of back and forth that that is going well for you. And the high priestess emotionally charged, and you have this big barrier between you and you know your husband, and again a distance barrier between you and the the other guy. And again, there's a lot of time being invested that's not going very well. So it looks like that there's this is a that this is a not good and, and another not good situation. And again, wishing well things wishing things would be realistic when they're not really realistic. So I'm gonna leave you with all of this. I mean, if you wanted, I don't know, you want to know his intentions. Um, his intentions are wishing his intentions are wishing for something again that that you can't that you can't really achieve that's not the perfect achievement. In other words, everything's not going to go perfectly just the way you planned it. And it's one of those things where you plan something and you plan more and you plan more and it's not going to go the way you the way you anticipated that it would. Again, his intentions, the devil, um, it, his intentions are, are uh, using up a lot of time. His intentions are getting you away from your current relationship, obviously, and juggling between these two, I think, is not going to be the best thing that he's going to be able to do. And the barrier, it doesn't look like the barrier is breaking or the barrier is not there. In other words, he may not be willing to move. You may have to move over there in order to satisfy the relationship or move in or something like that. The balance aspect is not going to be there. It's not going to be the same type of relationship that you're currently having. And strength being darkened means that you're going to have to work on the relationship a lot more than you had worked on your existing relationships. I think long term, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. Short term, it may be great. Um, long term, it's going to be a bit of a challenge. So if you want to know his intentions, um, you can kind of see the colors, the barriers, the time invested and things like that as your answer. So that is my reading so, if you like this reading, please hit like and subscribe. If you want a reading of your own, please email me at the email address in the comment in the description box below. Thank you for watching.